You have to understand that I was, in 1991, I almost died. Maurice lifts cars and rips license plates with his bare hands. I had a heart attack. I was a diabetic. Everything was terrible, really, really out of shape. He bends six penny nails with ease. And then when I found out I had cancer of the prostate, that's what turned me around. I changed my lifestyle then. I train every other day. I'm back eating sensibly now. He rips a deck of cards in half in his bare hand. I do it this way, one hand against the other. You have to really toughen your hands up because they'll cut you. Plastic cards will cut you. Well, I mean, I can show you how to hold them. You try and tear them. I can tell you firsthand, this was not easy. I can't even budget. Maurice has the record for ripping 17 decks of cards in 30 seconds. Watch him pull this 40-ton transit bus with one hand. So how long did he pull it? 87 feet, Marie. One slip here would rip his arms out of his sockets. And this guy is 69 years old. The only man in the world that ever held for him. The only man in the world. When I got done, I had to pull the planes back. I couldn't get out of it. I was pulled so taunt. I held it for uh, 75% of the full throttle. I bent a 5 8 inch solid steel, 40 inches. The, the motorcycles were picking up a lot of stones. They were peppering me. My wife said to me, I held it for about a minute. She said, what do you want to do, hold them all day? And he lifted me in a refrigerator using one hand. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do them, but I just keep thinking of other things to do, and I just do them. You have to have a fertile mind to do these things. I thought about the refrigerator with the, with the three women on it. Now, on my 69th birthday, if you want to cover it, I'm going to do five women. Here's a picture of me when I was 12 and 16. I was really muscular for a 12-year-old. I feel great. Yet, after all, you know, I have a 40-year-old wife, so, you know, she gives me that. Hi, this is the magnificent Marisa, and you're watching Over the Edge.